Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of the Geek Tech Show. Well, today, today's video, we are going to be checking out a video review of the Teasel. Before we get started with the Teasel, well, I want to go into why New York State used to ban all those kind of interesting things and weapons. And this actually used to be illegal here from the 1970s. It is no longer illegal because some royal got arrested for possessing a pair of nunchucks and those are not even... Those are actually plain nunchucks, those are not actually the dangerous kind, but he was arrested because he had those nunchucks in his house, because it was declared as a weapon. Because this is rubble, and this can't hurt anybody, but this is metal right here, so owning this used to be illegal in the state of New York. Because you know what, if you get hit by this, this is kind of painful. And Bruce Lee made this like a famous thing. Or something like that. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the taser gun. This used to be illegal in New York as well, and now it is totally legal. It was ruled unconstitutional that you can't possess this. Now you can. It's totally legal for you to have this in this state. Of course, they're going to do their best to cause a few loopholes and restrict this from people for getting it. The only way for you to get this, you have to get it directly from this website. So this means it is legal. If they can send it to you, this company stands by its name, that means it is allowed. And plus, you can look up the law of New York State and other states, it's supposed to be legal in all 50 states to get this. So we are doing a video review of the taser gun. This is the pet edition of it which is actually the same thing as the normal edition, except we get a few freebies. We get this, which you can put on your pet, so it lights up in the dark or something. Then I'm turning this on, because you have to remove like something right here for this to work. Next, you get a handkerchief, like that. This is the next thing you get here. And it does say taser on it, which kind of gives it away. You're supposed to put this on your dog, but it says taser. So, kind of like giving the bad guy, there's a teaser here on it. When you open this up, I'm going to be opening this up. I'm going to show you what is inside here. So this is the ultimate self-defense weapon. It comes down, you have an instruction booklet over here. You get a charger. And you get the teaser itself. This is not a toy, this is a serious piece of equipment. And that's how it actually looks like. So, there's a few things that I actually don't really like about this, and I do like about it. One, it's kind of heavy, which is good. The bad thing is, both sides, this is good and bad by the way, both sides could be used for self-defense, so this sticks out right here. But unfortunately, this one is the one that stuns you. This one does not. And it looks kind of the same, so you can accidentally actually use the wrong side against your opponent and think the taser is working and actually shock yourself. So that's something that you have to more get used to how you actually play with it. So there's two buttons here. One is the light switch right here, which arms the taser. The second one is the yellow one right here. And this one is the taser one. Now, now I understand why cops well, gloves, because I don't know why, it can actually back shock you somehow. So, this is supposed to make sure I'm not getting back shot, and you know, I don't know if you've seen this thing, but OJ Simpson, guess what? The glove does fit. Just kidding. No, it doesn't. That's a reference from OJ Simpson. Now. So how are you supposed to do it? Though, let's go first into the basics of when you're going to be using something like this for self-defense. So if a bad guy comes along, guess what? You take something like this out, you arm this, you put this on, you turn on the taser, they're supposed to get scared and run away. It's actually preventive muscle right here because of that. Of course, the last thing you want is to have to use this. That's actually something you don't want to do. Because what if this thing doesn't even work? Uh, what if, it, I mean, 
in terms of walk it does walk but it might for some people it might not even they might not even feel it on the other hand some people can be a total shocked by it you don't know how it's going to go against your attacker so another thing is it gives you this ability to strike an opponent too so that's kind of the basics of it unfortunately look at the size of this thing it's huge but it's well built unlike some other ones which are like this small i actually prefer the small ones because it's kind of hard for you to keep something this huge with you for a self-defense weapon plus you have to recharge this over time it's going to lose charge so the next thing i want to do is to turn this on so one side is the flashlight right here it, this is like this flashlight is kind of a joke because it's not really bright and the real use of the flashlight is to turn the taser on which I'm going to be showing you in a second now I'm kind of afraid of actually using this fortunately this whole thing entire thing is metal housing so if you have any static on you you're like bzzzt, you're gonna shock yourself and that this is why I'm kind of like scared of touching this thing so what am I gonna be doing safety first not conducting any electricity here <laughs> and now I'm going to be touching it like this Ooh. now it didn't back shock me now there, there's a, always a potential of this to back shock you so <laughs> it's not really supposed to I might have actually a defective unit here I don't know maybe I just have like a bunch of static on me built in but I wanted to show you how this actually works now I'm going to be turning this off when I, have, when I turn the lights off Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> so this is the taser gun by the way. So it does work. It's kind of scary. It's big. And you know what? Best way of self-defense. You can hit somebody with this thing. They, they will never start with you again. But really it comes down to that. If you have the taser gun and you have to use it as a self-defense weapon this is great because you know what the sound of this this sound is scary i mean this is like a bolt of lightning that you have in your hand you're like, and and you know what the, the, this thing all by itself just the, the the pure sound of this thing i don't think anybody wants to get close to a lightning bolt so i i am actually thinking this is this is a good self-defense tool but it's better not to use it it's better to scale off your attacker than ever having to turn this actually on so if somebody comes in tries to do something turn the flashlight on and you say I got a taser one more step I'm gonna bolt you with this lightning and then just turn this on and he can see that or see whoever is attacking you from far away they're gonna vote for it they're gonna run the other way hopefully and you don't have to use this thing because the last thing i want to do is to shock somebody with this because who knows this thing any weapon can always be used against you remember this always any kind of a weapon can always be turned back and used against you and this one you gotta practice make sure you practice with this thing and i mean practice as in knowing how to turn this on, turn this off, and grabbing it the, the correct way. Last thing you want to do is to grab it the wrong way, which is here, grabbing it the wrong way. Of course, it's built that you can only push this down or up and then press on this button, which is the safety. But what if you do this and guess what? You're holding it the wrong way. Guess what? It's going to bolt you instead of your opponent. So that's one thing I dislike about this design because both ends are so similar that it's hard for you to actually tell which is which especially if you're just grabbing this because you have to use this and that's a big thing this is a big deal with this weapon this is one of the reasons I dislike this although I like the ability that you have two of those sharp things on both ends that gives you the potential for this to be used as a self-defense mechanism this is a double-head sword 
it's like a double sword and that's the unfortunate thing about this design I do wish they would come back to the drawing board and fix this little thing so how do you fix this very simple grip that's all you need is an ability for you to grip this rubberized grip right around here so you can tell the difference where you're supposed to be grabbing this tool it is not very clear and that's about it thank you so much for watching this show and if you do want to get one of those you got to go to the actual website taser.com and see if this is going to be shipped directly to you if you want to save some money you can get three of those all at once and it's going to be much cheaper than buying just one and the best thing about tasers if you do have to use there's a lot of other tools by the way over there you can get as well you can get the, the gun too but the best thing about the tasers themselves is that if you ever use this in a self-defense situation and you have to leave this behind if you fire a police report taser will send you another one of those all for free which is a great thing uh, so don't think like oh man i have to use this i'm gonna be at loss of this money well your life is more important you gotta use this use it and if it gets lost it gets lost you write the police report this guy attacked you taser will send you a free replacement the taser strike rate unboxing and review taking this off you can see the entire box this is what it actually comes in the box itself doesn't have anything special over here it has the charger it got a little cord that you're going to be using over here to actually keep this thing on something that looks like a keychain but this is pretty much it what you're getting is the taser strike light the strike light itself is not really heavy putting it on this scale you can see it only weights 11 ounces when it comes to the actual measurement of it you're talking about 8 inches by around one and a half this is small but not really small because when it comes to something like a flashlight like a miniature flashlight this is not a big flashlight it's kind of big to fit in your pocket so this is actually a pretty big self-defense tool now if you have big hands it's probably fine but if you're small it's kind of big that being said it is very good when it comes to the grip so if you're going to grip this and use this as a weapon it's actually purpose is not only to strike it's also to be used double as a weapon as well you turn this you have the flashlight which is not super powerful and after you turn the flashlight on it is armed all you have to do next is to press the yellow button and it delivers the strike from this side right here so this is where the bolt of a uh, taser comes from so this is pretty much it this is how the taser actually looks like there is nothing too special about it. and this is all entire thing is made out of metal so both sides are being used as strike tools just in case you have to use this also doubles as a self-defense weapon thank you so much for joining this show hopefully you learned something new and if you didn't regardless smash smash the thumbs up button right down below i want to see you as a subscriber for the geek tech show and see you in the next episode of the geek tech now what i'm going to be doing next i'm going to see if i can shock myself Thank <laughs> you.